And now we're going to move on to circles, graphing circles and working with their equations. So a circle, a circle is the collection of all points equidistant from one point called the center. And that equidistant distance that we have between the center and the points that form the circle is called the radius. Now we have two forms for circles when it comes to the algebra. We have one form that most people tend to like, and that is the center radius form. And the center radius form is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And from here, it's actually very, very nice because you can quickly identify the center given by the ordered pair hk and your radius is just going to be r. One of the things you need to know about this is that in the center radius form you have subtraction right here with x minus h and the y minus k. So when it comes to identifying the center as h and k you have to do the opposite of what you see. So we're going to be seeing that here in just a moment. And then we have another form, and that's called the general form. And this is just, it looks kind of crazy. x squared plus y squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to zero. And basically what that is, is if you were to take the center radius form and you square everything out, and you order it with x squared, y squared, x, y, and the constant, that's what you would have. Okay, so let's do a quick example of, of a circle. And we're gonna go through several more examples so that we are all okay with all of this. So let's start with the first example of x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Now, notice how you have your x squared and your y squared. You don't have an x or a y by itself running around. You've got your two square pieces, so we know we have a circle. There's nothing inside here. There's nothing like a, a plus 2 or a minus 3. So that tells us that our center is going to be at the origin, 0, 0. Okay? And then your radius, well, Make sure you understand this. The 25 is going to be your radius squared. So you can say that r squared is equal to 25, and then solve that equation, and you find that r is equal to 5. So we've got a circle who is centered at the origin, 0, 0, with a radius of 5. And again, the reason I know it's 0, 0 is because when you look back at the form that we had above, it's just x squared. There's no minus h, and there's no minus k part to that. All right, so when you plot your center, don't do a fill it in circle for that because it's not actually a point that's on the circle. It's more of a reference point. So here is zero, zero. To graph a circle, use the radius and go up, down, left, and right that many units. So my radius is five, so I'm gonna go up five, down five units, and left and right. And from here, you draw a circle. Please make sure that you draw a circle and not a diamond. Okay. So let's do our best to draw a nice circle. And I'm going to admit that my circles are not the best ever. But hopefully they look more like circles than they do a diamond. So, yeah, sorry, definitely not the prettiest circle that you're ever going to see, but I hope that you guys can agree that it's, um, as they say, good enough for government work. All right, in the next few videos, we're going to run through a few different examples, some with the center radius form and some with the general form, and let's see what we can come up with.